This week on our traveling garden, we want to talk about Japanese tree lilacs one more time because they're just so incredible. I planted this tree 31 years ago when my daughter Katie was born, and it is an amazing tree. And they get about 25 or 26 feet high, and they have the big white flowers. This has been blooming since the 1st of June, and here it is, 4th of July weekend. There are also smaller versions. Let's take a look. This tree is similar to my daughter Katie's tree, but it's a dwarf version of Japanese tree lilac called ivory silk Japanese tree lilac. They're narrower, more compact. The flowers are a little whiter. It's just a little bit past peak now. And um, they only get to be about 20, 22 feet high. I'm at Myron and Kathy's house, my neighbor, which is in Highland Acres, and I just have to show off their roses. Here it is, 4th of July weekend, and look at how incredible these roses from Canada are. They bloom and bloom and bloom. They're hardly any work. He feeds them. Once in a while, you might have to spray them if he gets bugs, but they are very prolific and um, colorful all the time. You can even get smaller versions of some of these Canadian roses, like Morden Centennial and Morden Ruby, and they bloom and bloom and bloom, and they're double, and um, it's just you know, a great time of the year because there's so much color. Everything is later, but it's um, fun to see all the color, see the Japanese tree lilacs blooming, and see the roses and all the perennials that are coming on now. We're going to have more tips for next week. Until then, good gardening.